Welcome to PDQ English. Here's our lesson plan for today. First, you're going to watch the short clip, then watch the clip with subtitles to see if you heard everything correctly. Then we're going to study. We'll talk about meaning, grammar, and pronunciation. Then there are some short exercises waiting for you. And watch until the end of the video for a special task. Franchising. We're here to make all of your dreams come true. Hmm? And how much do these dreams cost? <laughs> You'll be making so much money, our standard fee will be a drop in the bucket. <laughs> Franchising. We're here to make all of your dreams come true. Hmm? And how much do these dreams cost? <laughs> You'll be making so much money, our standard fee will be a drop in the bucket. <laughs> okay, so here is a bucket. Now imagine that you need to fill this huge bucket with water, but all you have is a tiny dropper. Now this tiny dropper full of water would be like a drop in a bucket in comparison to the overall amount of water that you need. So, a drop in a bucket is used to describe something very small and insignificant in the big picture. For example, in this clip that you watched, Madeline is saying that the agency fees are a drop in a bucket in comparison to how much money Antoine's company will make in the end. So the fees are very, very small and the amount of money that the company will make in the future is a lot. It's a very, very big amount of money. Another example. You might have found the correct place for one puzzle piece, but realize that compared to the total of 2,000 puzzle pieces, that is just a drop in the bucket. All right, let's take a look at this idiom, a drop in the bucket. In this idiom, the word drop is a noun. It is not a verb. So please be careful. We cannot say, I dropped a bucket or I dropped in the bucket. No, 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 no. A drop in the bucket. And since this is an idiom, remember to keep it as it is, unchanged. You cannot change any of the words in it. For example, you cannot change the preposition. You cannot say a drop on the bucket or a drop inside the bucket. Our standard fee will be a drop in the bucket. All right, and now let's try to see how we can pronounce this idiom naturally. Let's start with the word bucket. Bucket. The letter U in this word makes the sound a, uh, b, bucket, bucket in the in the bucket now let's try to connect all the words in this idiom a drop a drop a drop in a drop in a drop in the bucket a drop in the bucket now pause the video and practice saying the phrase all right time for exercises remember you can always pause the video if you need some extra time number one Choose the sentence that uses the idiom a drop in the bucket correctly. A. Trying to save money by skipping your morning coffee is a good start, but it's just a drop in the bucket when it comes to saving for a house. B. After completing a drop in the bucket of homework, Ben decided since he was almost done, he could take a short break before continuing again. C. The puzzle is almost finished. We just need the last drop in a bucket. D. The test was a drop in a bucket for Jack, as he had studied hard and knew all the answers. Number 2. Which sentence is grammatically correct? A. Although donating even $5 is a good deed, it is similar to a drop of the bucket compared to the amount needed to help all the people. B. The school's budget cut for food is just a drop in a bucket compared to the overall budget, but it could greatly affect the satisfaction of students and staff. C. This two-second animation looks amazing, but it is like dropping a bucket compared to the amount of work still needed to finish the whole two-hour movie. And D. 
After saving for years, Sarah finally had enough money to buy a car, but she realized that the amount she saved was just a drop inside a bucket compared to the actual cost of the car. Now tell us in the comments section below if you've used this phrase before and if yes, in what situation. If not, come up with a sentence with this phrase and post it. We always try to check your comments and give you feedback. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to never miss a fun and quick English lesson with PDQ English.